Hi guys. Hi. How are you? Hi. Hi. We're really delighted that you guys could A, make it here, and B, that you're such loyal fans of, of our game. Because we're... It's the beginning. It's the beginning. We ran this competition last month across almost the entire U.S. Um, so these are not only, I think, some of your probably most engaged and loyal fans, but they're some of the most engaged gamers. Is there anyone you'd like to see in the game, like a cameo? Uh, Kanye. Yes. <laughs> hey. you know, fun. At work, I'm like right here on the side <laughs> trying to hide my phone. I'm like, I have to finish this event. Eight hours, I need five stars. <laughs> I had a lot of okay. great questions. <laughs> One question, what is your favorite outfit you've ever worn? Every outfit that I've worn in real life, I like to put it to my character. And the thing I love the most is when someone figures out when I've worn that outfit yeah. Yeah. and they post a side by side. Yeah. People do that all the time. That's my favorite. Yeah, I see it on Instagram. Yeah. Who's your favorite designer? Oh, yeah, that's one of them. I really, and I'm not just saying this, but I think my husband is like a mm -hmm. really, really, really good designer. And I can't wait till he has like a full line. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yeah. Um, what would you, what would some advice be for someone? young trying to enter the fashion world like how fashion business is really tough mm -hmm. i believe in working hard so i'm the type where if i wanted to get a job i'll take out the trash get your coffee do whatever you mm -hmm. got to do to be in the atmosphere that you want to be in it's about putting in the work and taking the time but bottom line if you work hard mm -hmm. you'll figure it out I got you guys each a book. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I signed them for you guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Just stand against that and get one big group picture. Sure. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you ready? Oh my god. It looks like my super sweet 16. Oh my god, what the hell are these? Holy crap. This is like five animals in one. A zebra, a snake, a pelican. Cheesy as f I think I can just help Chloe have like more simple style because her body really is the accessory. Is that Kanye's phrase? No, I'm just saying like for me, I'm so curvy that if I try to like put other things on it, I look like a, a joke. She needs like a jacket. It's right, cold. so can you pick one, like a black I one really or something? I really honestly can't pick one of these. What about the... What, what, Don't what? even think about it. Like, literally, you're, you're offending me. All right, like, pick out the shoes then. Come on. I don't need you, like, breathing up my ass. Things are, like, living in this closet. Look at this. This thing's moving. Should I be chic? Yes. OK, OK, hold on. This is a look. This, open, with this. And just a simple bodysuit. That's beautiful for a funeral. It's pitch black. We they don't wear be, like this in Santa Barbara. We it's gotta like a happy be chic. City. We gotta be chic. Okay, let's go. Hold on. Don't rush me. You're not like a real stylist. Come on. Yes, I am actually. I think she can wear the blazer to dinner. All right, let's get packing. OK, hold on. She's not going to want a wine taste in all white. This is taking so long. I, can't, I literally can't take this anymore. I think she'll really appreciate this. But like, wouldn't you be pissed if someone took your bag and put whatever their style was that they wanted you, you to have? Whatever happens, I won't be there to have to deal. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> there you have it. I think we're good. Hey, babe, do you have a second? OK, hold on. I want you to talk to Alice. She has to say one thing. It's really cute. Hold on. Hi, Kanye. Oh, I am wonderful. I'm sitting here in front of your beautiful wife. I want you to know that the people here in Memphis love you, and they love you here. <laughs> it's like this is something that gives not only prisoners hope, but America hope again. So you played a big role in this. Thank you. Thank you. Here's your wife. I love you, Kanye. Here's your wife. Hey, babe. OK, get back to your meeting. OK, bye. I'm telling you, this is something that 
everywhere I go, if you could only just walk down the streets in Memphis, I know you can, but I do. People recognize me now, and they're in tears hugging me and That's telling so me nice. how happy they are that I've come back home. I don't know these people, but they're so happy for me. It's just love. It's, I'm yeah. it's like a love fest, if you want to call it that. Yeah. I've, heard, I've seen that word before, a love fest, but this is what's going on here. On this journey of getting Alice out, I have learned so much about criminal justice and really how messed up our system is. Jared was texting me and said, honestly, we couldn't have picked a better person to open up his heart and for this to get started because now he doesn't want to stop. So that's all you. That's all you. So thank you. Thank you. There's so much that has to be done. And I know Alice's case is the one that spoke to me, but now that that is like in me, I can't stop at Alice. Like there has to be so much more that I could do. Oh my gosh, your face looks so skinny again. Don't you think? Yeah. It's starting, it's not all the way there. It's but not. my ankles are skinny. Yay! Woo! But psoriasis is back. That You know how they say your skin is perfect yeah. when you're pregnant? Oh. Wait, what did I tell you? Oh, coconut oil didn't I don't work? Care. No, I don't care, though. As long as I have my feet and my ankles back, I am loving life. Yeah. Right. Do you want this? Yes, I do. How cute is that? To die. She's not a leopard girl, but no, she but might that. do that with, like, a black with the beads too. mesh cover-up. Okay, one more thing. Hurry, I gotta feed. The things that I give you, will you give them back to me? Because I like, I like them. Yes, if you want that. I do. Okay. Okay. I need to like brace you. Kanye is going to shoot a music video for the song Famous. Um, oh. The people that the video's about, it's like Amber, Rose, Ray J, Chris Brown, Rihanna, Taylor Swift, and Caitlyn. Caitlyn. Caitlyn? Caitlyn Jenner. There's nudity, technically. There's sheets over everyone. I think he's obsessed with Caitlyn though. He just like likes people that do, uh, that are authentic, that do what they want to do. Well, he wasn't doing what he wanted to do his whole life. Yeah, but now he is. I am still trying to understand the whole feud between Taylor Swift and Ye that happened about this whole song. Because I thought she knew about it. She did. is about having positive, positive vibes, totally. positive energy. Absolutely. Nothing about sexy or confident. I've done that for every other fragrance. I think this is about straight to the point, like healing, yeah. clarity. So we actually went back and did some modifications okay. and we want to present those to you today. Cool. Okay. Like this seems a little too bubbly for me. Okay. okay. This looks nice with all this around it. Yeah, yeah. But then if I saw it like that, I'd probably kill myself. Like right. I see okay. it like this. Because I think the presentation is key. So it almost looks like we're pulling out a magical, like not just like a black box within the crystal standing out. It should mm -hmm. all blend, blend and look together. like a big stone yeah. or a big piece of something gorgeous. But we also learned some really interesting facts that we still needed to create what we consider as the wow factor. When you walk in a room, all the eyes are on you. And we want when this fragrance walks in the room, all eyes to be on it. So this is a couple of samples. So control is original? Mm -hmm. Correct. That was what you originally had approved for okay. the test. Love. Yeah. Don't love? I'm losing my gardenia. I don't smell it anymore. I don't know if you want to bump it up with something else, but just whatever can be gardenia and feminine. Absolutely. So maybe different types of floral seeds mm -hmm. to give it more of that wow factor but still has that signature Kim Kardashian floral bouquet. Every time you launch, they want to have a new facet of you. Can I smell something good yeah. here? Oh, this is Dubai? No, no, no. No, no, no. This no, is no. Asia. This is okay. Asia. And they like things that are very airy, transparent, the floral seeds. I was going to say, you I'm like, I don't like this. Like. Am I Asian? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for you? To dance. Get ready. <laughs>
I'm like a notorious non-dancer. Oh, no, like it's a thing. So let me see what you guys are doing. No, it's not even that hard. You should do it. Well, I don't know if it's, I don't care about hard. I just <laughs> don't dance. Okay. I make money moves. Right. <laughs> It's kind of fast, but we're gonna do it slow because this the song is fast. You're just having boom, 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 ha, boom, boom, ha, boom, boom. You got this. Oh yeah, no, I don't dance. <laughs> can we play? Can you find me the chorus? One, two, three, and boom, boom, ha, ha, boom, boom, boom. Left, right. I right. can't, you Slide guys. Up, boom, <laughs> high, walk, walk. You guys need to get, Step. I could be a stage mom. Come on. We need what to get more do? into it. Okay. Like, we oh, oh, more into oh, it. The <laughs> I okay. don't need to be, but you guys need to be. Well, come on, will you dance with us now, though? No. Next time you're at a Kanye <laughs> show, you could be backstage. <laughs> come on, Kim, do something. Try. Try. No. Okay, you can assist me. You can tell me. Okay. What you just keep doing you, because it, it's good. Okay. Come on, do it. No. Go ahead. Kim has this inability to let loose. Boom, boom, she's not even boom. moving. Ha. I mean, if she's just going to sit here and critique us, then she can leave. Boom, boom, ba, oh, my God. Boom, boom, ba, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> nice to meet you. I don't know what they've told you about us. Master Ko is a healer. We were asked to maybe be able to help with some life problems. Mas Joko has come so highly recommended. People from the States fly to Bali to see this man. Hi. I love connecting with the spirit world. We just are so open to whatever, and yeah. we just take it for what it is. Yeah. I believe in everything. <laughs> Except for unicorns, you don't. And mermaids, they're real. I don't know. Try not to think too much and inhale slowly and then retain and then exhale through the mouth. He says there is a lack of kapur with your knees. <laughs> this is definitely not what I thought was going to happen during this reading the straw sucking with my knee. I didn't know all that was happening. I think I was looking more to like connect with people that had passed on. Please inhale very deeply. I really felt like I was in a timeout, like we were misbehaving. He's getting a problem that he sees with you. Do not repeat previous mistakes. As we say, the donkey never hits the same stone twice. She did that lambu. For you, he says there is a problem with stomach acid. And he says if he could use a little bit of your hair, so if you can... Yeah, it's fake though, so it doesn't matter if this is not my real hair. It's not your own. It's like extensions. It do extend seed. Mm. I can probably cut a little piece. So I think it was just a different kind of reading than I expected. Yeah. Thank, Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you. He extracted something negative from you, but only you can dump the water with the seawater. In the sea? Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Dirty water in the ocean. So today is kind of cray. There's gonna okay. be a lot of like just running around. Okay. So all of these need to go to Dash. Okay, cool. This whole pile is for Lamar to sign. This is for Chris. And we have to hand deliver it by one. For two seconds, can I call? My manager really quickly. Yeah, call your manager. Okay. My twin sister, Khadija, and I have acted together our entire career. It's just all I've ever known. We've done hundreds of commercials, and then we broke into movies. My sister got married, and I'm trying to get myself out so that I can start acting again. Hi, Steven. Hey, Stevie, it's Malika. Hi, honey. What's going on? You have an audition on Sunset at 1230. All the information is in your email. I'll respond to you in the email and let you know when I can make it. Okay. Thanks, Steve. Bye, honey. That's today? Yeah. I don't know what to say. I mean, I know you want to go, but some of this stuff, it's like confidential. I can't give it to a messenger and have them right. sign it. 
if I can't go because I have to meet Lamar for a meeting, obviously I Don't know acting that. is like your career and your dream. Well, maybe I should just try to get this stuff done now and see if I can still make it. If I can never make an audition, I'll never book a job. Like, I want to act and I want to be there for Chloe. It's very frustrating to feel like I have to choose between the two. All right, bye. Sorry. The gym got treadmills underwater we can use. Dallas was the first one they were showing with the super high tech um, yeah, training the, facility, the, right? Got the, the crazy cold machine. You go in there for two minutes. Yeah. All my senses, I turn into Spider Man. I can hear a <laughs> pin drop. <laughs> I miss you, son. I miss you too, man. We all miss you, G. Not as much as him. <laughs> How you like in Dallas? I definitely want to come check out Dallas, you know? I got a question for you. How's it gonna feel playing against your old team? That's the that's the question at hand. Go so crazy. I feel, like, I feel like I got traded too, yo. You but did, I, but yeah. I'm still here. You know how <laughs> that is? I got traded, but I'm still here. Yeah. It's kind of weird. You feel me? Oh, yeah. I don't get the VIP treatment no more. That's crazy. I get, I get, I get stuck to the back of the line now. He doesn't get the VIP treatment anymore. VIP. I didn't think you hear what I said. Like, you, if I, like, you got traded, but I got traded, but I'm still here. Yeah. We heard it. Hmm? You know, you feel me? Like, I, I need way more love than you, you give me right now, son. I, they, don't, they don't let me in a club no more. Get out of here. I'm dead ass. Jamie's used to having it his way. Jamie's in, like, Jamie mode right now. So he's definitely not feeling, with, like, what I'm going through. What a beautiful night. It actually is going to be a good night. Whenever Dalton's DJing, it's always a good night. Yeah. You guys look great. Yeah, you can have well, huh? I swear. Boy's waiting. You show up to the suite and it's super cool. And when you go out on the back patio, you can see like the ocean. Wow, I know. this is nice. Hi. It's cool, wow. right? Yeah. It's easy. Is this right on the beach? Hey guys. Wow. Hey. How are you? I can't believe these girls showed up to my house. I thought they just invited them out to the club. Look at Mr. Innocent over here being all quiet. You guys excited for tonight? Yeah. You know what he said about you guys? Oh, no. He said all three of you are going to get it, and you don't even know it. <laughs> Volcano illusion, Dalton spinning, making pretend he's going to give it to the employees. You're a sick <laughs> Is that the pot calling the kettle black? Do you guys do this all day long? Pretty much. Usually we're blindfolded in each other, but not tonight. <laughs> The old cojones. How are you? How are you, friend? Hi. Hi, I think I want ice cream. Yeah, get your cream on. Get my oh, <laughs> Scott, be quiet. You're so weird. The creamery. Can I get the vanilla in this cone? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, wow. That's a cone. I don't know which one I like, man. Do you want to try another one? Let me try those. Medium? Yeah, middle ground. Okay. Oh, I got stuff all Scott, over. oh my god. You don't touch my lips, dude. I don't know why Scott even touches my face, to be honest with you. You and gotta I'm stop. Not gonna touch you. I'm just gonna... Scott, this is just getting really weird. You're really working that cone, Chloe. You're a very sexual eater. It's ice cream. In all honesty, who wouldn't want to be that cone? You're disgusting. Scott clearly does not think that there's boundaries between me and him, and it's it's a little overwhelming. I don't really know how to handle it at this point. Your milkshake's playing boys in the yard, do they not? I can't even eat it anymore. You're so sick. Or maybe you're sick, but you just worked the out of that ice cream cone. Oh my god. <laughs> I was getting ready for my interviews. Literally same thing as the first time. And my friend Larsa called me to explain that a reporter that she knows was about to write a story that Jordan and Tristan were at his home late night or until seven in the morning. They said they were like making out and I immediately didn't believe it. You know, and I was like, this can't be true. Hello. Hey, it's me and Chloe. Hello. Hey. Hi. Did you talk uh. to 
Jordan? I talked to Jordan. She, it's really weird. She's not giving me all the information. She was like, he was trying to kiss me. and was like, I can't remember if we did or didn't. I'm like, what? I'm like, wait, wait, wait. What? Let's tell Kylie. Merge. Uh, door. Okay. Hey, Kylie, Courtney, Chloe. Sure. So I spoke to Jordan. She was in between his legs. Is blah, someone blah, blah. coming? I'm standing outside the f***ing locked door. With f***ing paparazzi. Courtney, shut the f*** up. So. I can't she remember. Said, I can't remember if we kissed. I said, if you are too nervous to tell me something, you can text me. And she said, okay, I'll call you in five minutes. She hasn't called me, and that was like 20 minutes ago. No, but, but why did Jordan have to say she had to call you back? It's very weird. Exactly. This is the first time I'm hearing she was sitting on his lap. I mean, I need the f***ing whole truth. So Tristan's on a plane flying back from All-Star Weekend. So Jordan is the only one that can give Chloe information, and she has gone radio silent now. So it just must be such a frustrating situation for Chloe to be in, not knowing what's going on and just wanting answers. Don't cry. Please. This is an important meeting, OK? Hi. It's about I didn't know time. You had a baby. Yeah, no, I... It's Mason. It's Courtney's baby. Ah. I'm babysitting for the day. We were talking the other day that maybe we could do something really cool together. Market Mary is like a product brokerage and internet marketing company. We have Exciting. a following, but, but Kim, of course, has a huge following. So I think there's a lot of possibilities, a lot of different opportunities we can explore together. What are you thinking? Maybe Kim is some, some sort of a spokesperson for, for the, the MA Cashback or the Pay to Shop program with MarketAmerica.com? Um, because I'm sure some of our are. Please, because he wants to say we're trying to bring social networking into our marketing strategy, and our people are really open to it. So that's that's like a natural fit. Oh, I'm Look sorry. I'm just so exhausted. I'm losing my voice. I've been with him all day, and it's like exhausting. I think he literally <laughs> just went to the bathroom. I just have to change him really quick. Would you guys mind? If I just right, change him right really here. Ew, Mason. Or maybe oh, JR, Kim, maybe we should, maybe we should reconvene. Maybe t tomorrow or something like that. I mean, let's let her handle what she needs to handle. No, I think no, so. No, 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 please. It's okay. It's okay. I think. I'm I think, so I think, sorry, you guys. That's all right. Are you Why sure don't you, you guys yeah, of course, time? of course. I appreciate you bringing Mason, but I think tomorrow would be a better time all right, to finish. Let's... Bye. Oh, Macy, you never cry this much. Why are you doing this to me in a meeting? We're gonna go see mom, okay? Okay. You have me. Okay, okay, please don't cry anymore. I'll just cry with you. Come on. You don't want both of us to cry, do you? You keep your stars in the back of your head. Do I got started? I promise I take them off. No, you got them still. For real? Yeah. I think it's time to take them off. I think so, too. A couple, people, a couple people asked me if you had tattoos in your head. I think I'm going to get them tattooed. Yeah? Yeah. I go well in, like, job interview? I'm six foot nine, black dude. So you're not getting a job anyway? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Yo! L-Train. What's good with you, daddy, yo? L-Train, you call me the L-Train, damn. Took it back to the hot summer afternoon in Lincoln Park. I'm trying to take you now, boy. What up, Joe? Hey. Right. Everything is good. Oh, when you think I'm get that up? <laughs> On the real side, Lamar, all I need is one more solid, though. Hawaii, Santa Barbara, that'd be cool. You ever been to Hawaii, Joe? San Tropez? Chill, son. I ain't going. Stop Whoa. acting like that, man. I ain't acting like nothing. <laughs> Trip to Hawaii or something like that. You don't want to go away. All right, but come see me, man. You know, check out the crib, man. My father was in and out of my life for a long period of time when I was growing up. But for the last couple of years, we started to reconnect. You guys are so cute together. <laughs> you know how we do it? It's the Odom crew. We got, like, a, a lot of handsome men in our family. <laughs> <laughs> But now he wants to go on vacation together. But I got to draw the line somewhere. I can't really handle him for that long. I kind of take it slow, you know, an hour at a time, a day at a time. Everything is everything, though? Yeah, I think you some groceries, though, man. All right, I'm going to hook you up, baby. I'm going to hook you up. All right, one love, man. Stay up.
one love. I got an offer to go to Nigeria, but I think it's just weird. With Ebola. Or what's it called? Ebola? E. coli? I don't know. I don't want to die. Um, so Chloe told me that Malika got really wasted and she yeah. was just in the weirdest mood. So Chloe thinks she's like kind of been flirting with her for a while now. Like ha like what? has some other signs. After the winery, she was like at home helping her because she was sick. I don't even know. I really don't even know. It was so bizarre. They were so drunk. And Malika tried to kiss Chloe. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Crazy, right? So Is that weird. true? Mm hmm So what did Chloe do? Like nothing. I don't even know. Did she like back away? Was she like, get off me? Like I don't even know. Brutal. This is bizarre. Hi guys, I'm Kourtney Kardashian. Welcome to my mommy blog. This is our closet in our New York City hotel room. This is all Mason's clothes um, and all of his shoes. And we are talking about kids' fashion today. And um, I love dressing Mason. I love dressing him more than dressing myself. It's so much fun picking out his clothes and making outfits and giving him style. Here's a pair of the moccasins. These are probably my favorite ones. And he has grown out of these. Every time he grows out, I get a new, new batch and I get them in every color. And then I'm obsessed with these gold Supras which are fab little tennis shoes, sneakers, and you can't go wrong with a pair of Nikes too. Here in New York, I think it's all about layering, which like makes the outfits more stylish. Um, so we have a bunch of jackets. A jean jacket is always good. This one's Ralph Lauren. And I like mixing, this is from H&M, and H&M makes amazing boys' clothes, and I think they're really affordable. Let's go over to the dresser, shall we? Even if Mason's wearing jeans and a white t-shirt, like you can make the outfit cute by adding sunglasses. He has these hot pink ones, and I'm not afraid of pink for boys, which I'm sure some people would disagree, but I love it, and Mason likes it. We have these fun little glasses, really sexy on me. And then we have all of his little bow ties, which I love um, putting on him with just like a button down shirt. And it's fun to mix prints, like a striped shirt with a plaid bow tie and different things. And I think hats are a fun way to instantly add style. Mason doesn't always keep his hats on, but we he'll start with it, and if he's over it, take it off, and that's fine. Like, I don't force him to do anything or wear anything. Like, for me, I'll pick one item to start dressing. Like, I'll either just look at one area, pick one thing, and then I'll build his outfit from that. I think with boys, it's hard, too. It's all about shoes. If I could see, I've seen so many little boys and their outfits are so cute and then their moms put like kind of dorky shoes on them. I think it's all about the shoes. Um, and I think it doesn't matter about the brands or if it's high end or low end, like as long as you have good style or cute accessories, you could wear a white t-shirt and jeans and make it look cute. Um, it's all about what you mix it with. I love H&M, which definitely has good deals and is very affordable. Kids definitely grow out of their clothes really quickly. So I'm all about mixing and matching. I love Ralph Lauren. Here's what we're bringing. Instant food and we have fans, over 25 pillows because they sleep on these little mats and Kardashian kids collection and then some medical supplies and then we have tons of toys, you guys. Visiting this country and actually seeing firsthand some of the devastation that the tsunami left has all of us feeling like we want to do something to help. So after Mark told us about the orphanage that wasn't far away, the family and I decided that it would be a really good idea to take the time and go pay a visit. Well, guys, this is going to be a pretty cool experience. 
I wonder what it's like, like living at an orphanage. Oh, this could be it. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Did we do it? Hi, Chris. Nice Chloe. Hi. 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 Chloe. Nice to see you. Tuna. 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 Chloe. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pete. Pete. Hello. My Hello. name is Leela. My name is Brody. Hi, I'm Kendall. Nice, nice to meet you. Usually welcome family Thank to come you. to visit. Thank you. We very pleasure to welcome you. I hope you enjoy our coffee shop here. The yes. coffee yes. shop is beautiful. So they work here. They get to earn money here. They're learning here, and they survive here together. They all work They're here? They're all together, yes. And we have our property down there as well. I, will, I would like to show you now. Yeah, let's go yeah. see. Yeah. Just follow me this way. What's your name? Oh, yeah. Ali. We have uh, 14 girls, 11, 11 boys. Uh -huh. And also my staff as well. We have all together six staff. Oh my God. It's amazing. You're so cute. This is uh, our garden. In the backyard, we start to plant some bean or some kind of vegetable that we can eat right there around close to the river. Mm -hmm. Every evening, my children, they will swim right there, play the water, make them. That's where they something. swim down there? Yes. Seeing this. Like... Yeah. Makes you kind of appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah. And they've and got this is smiles as big as I know. I mean, I can like, be. Yeah. You know? I know, right? I'm really impressed with how happy these kids are with, you know, so little of what they have. I grew up with a family that had such a strong family bond and connection that, you know, it just makes me so sad that these kids don't have that family element. You know how to play the guitar? Oh, oh, Usually both. Okay. Can you play us a song? Do you want to play? Are you ready? Yeah. I'll be ready. touched by this whole experience, I think that it's a crazy thing to have to see. And these kids have almost nothing and can still find reasons to be happy. And I think that my family can learn from them. All of the Sunday, sunshine, asked me to visit his friend that was diagnosed with bone cancer. As soon as I heard about it, it rocked me. Lamar's mom passed away from cancer. Um, very tragic. Lamar didn't really speak about it much. Let's play a little horse. I got a little friend with me. What's up, bro? No. <laughs> What's up, man? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chilling. How you doing, man? Good. How are you? I'm fine. I think for him, being able to help Steven get through this tough time. I think that's more important than anything. Come on right now. Come on, Mazatov. I'm sitting next to a Laker right now. <laughs> He's eating my grandma's food. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, friends, family. And health. Right? Yes. Health. Thank you. Health. Thank, Thank you. Do the treatments drain you a little bit? No? Yeah, I mean, it depends on the medicine. It's tough on your body, huh? <laughs> yeah, watching you guys win makes it a little easier. Yeah, well, I'll make sure we win a little bit more. He was a kid who was healthy and strong, and then one day, had it all taken away from him. You know, here he is um, fighting for his life. It makes you realize how fortunate and how blessed we are. Three, three, three. Yeah, yeah, three. three. Life is crazy, and you never know how and when you're going to learn lessons. And Steven, he made me think about some things that I needed to think about. I'll see you soon, all right, brother? Thank you. Thank all you right. so much. All right. Do you guys know that Chloe's sitting right there? No. <laughs> Let's go meet Miss Chloe. You Hello. look so hot. Money. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I love that you're wearing color. 
Thank I love you. that. Yeah, you look fiery and just like your personality, and I love it. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I feel bright. I mean, hello. Good. And I want to hear about you. I want you to tell me your story. Oh, my gosh. So right. you know how you can know that you need to move on from a relationship? Yes. But you kind of let you it linger stay on. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's been me and food. When did your love affair with food begin? I'm from Houston. That began way deep in my childhood. When I was in high school, we moved from Houston to Indianapolis, and I felt like an alien. I was curvy. I was different. So as a teenager, I felt really insecure about myself until I was like in my early 20s when I met my husband. So, you know, we fell in love. I was ready to get married and have a baby. And he kept taking me on trips and everything. And then he bought me a ring. And I was like, OK. <laughs> So, you know, it was wonderful. We got pregnant with my daughter. Mm -hmm. Everything was going beautifully. And then we got pregnant again. Mm -hmm. But then when I was five months pregnant, we, you know, had the ultrasound. Everything looked beautiful. And like four days later, I started having contractions. His lungs weren't developed enough for him to live. And so he lived less than a day. And nobody knows what it's like to go to the hospital with loving your baby and feeling them and to leave without a baby is just hard. Mm, so sorry. And um, I wanted my baby so bad, Chloe. Yeah. I can't imagine. My ex-husband, not only did he not support me, but he was against me. He blamed me. Two weeks after we lost our baby, he wanted a divorce. Oh my God, like you don't have enough going on. That was hard, you know. Um, thank you. <clears throat> you are so strong. People yeah. probably would never imagine what you've been through and be as joyful and radiant as you are. I worked so hard to create an amazing life for me and my daughter. Girl, and I was eating my ass off during the process. Yeah, of course. <laughs>expressed how much you did not like uh, your original wedding photos and the wedding dress you had. So as a gift, they are actually going to design you a one-of-a-kind wedding dress and have a photographer take beautiful wedding photos with you and your hubby. You have already outdone yourself with everything. Like, Aww. really, this is just... Mm, I really... I'm speechless, thank you. Oh, you're so No, sweet. truly, this is just... Mm. <sighs> The first time I did this, I was wobbling all over the place, but now it is, it's easy. Your midsection had rolls. Oh yeah, we had a whole bakery. What are You're you saying? <laughs> Do you know what size you were then? I was an 18. Mm -hmm. And I think now I'm a 12 or a 10. Oh my God, yeah, we're, fun. Yeah. Look how tiny your waist is. I have no, I mean, my husband's not even gonna recognize me. Where's my corset? <laughs> <laughs> is that really challenging? It's not really challenging, but Are you but kidding it's, me? Like, maybe, maybe. Give me this. You know, every night before Ariel goes to bed, she sends me an email of, of how appreciative she is and how, how much this journey's changed her. Um, it's pretty great. <laughs> it's great. Okay. This has got to be too much. Oh! That's okay. That's, that's the right way. Perfect technique. Cinder f***ing Ella right there. This is just magnificent. Well, you look <laughs> awesome. Like, no, thank you. <laughs> you just spoken to Scott yet? Oh, nope. He hasn't emailed you or any of them. No, he's no, trying to contact me, but I'm saying. Oh, you have to pick up. Ignore Shay status. Ignore, ignore, ignore. the whore. Ignore the whore. Ignore the whore. <laughs> Hi, Hi girls. How are you? Hello. How are you? Hi. I'm Jeff. I'm Adam. Hi. 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 Hello. Courtney. Nice Adam. to meet you. Hi. Hi. How are you, <laughs> Chloe? Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Thanks for coming out today. Of course. Really Thanks for having you. us. 
So tell us why you're here today to support the Nothing campaign. Well, we are here because, um, one, I just got married and I feel like everybody should have the right to be married and just, I feel like love is such a positive thing and I don't understand why people want to put limitations on it and define what their ideal scenario for love should be. I just don't think that's appropriate. Love is in here and um, I just think everyone has the right to marry who they want to marry, whether it be race, color, creed, I just feel like sex, I think that's, love is love, this is all positivity, so we should promote positivity, promote love, and promote the No Hate campaign and try to get this law passed. And I agree with everything you just said. <laughs> Nothing else you'd like to add? This is, you know, 2010 almost. It just shocks and me Courtney and I issue. really, we want to marry each other, so we just got to get this thing done. So maybe... That's a whole other issue. Maybe That's a whole other, I mean... <laughs> maybe you can pull the hair off your cheek a little bit. There you go, yeah. Great. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That was the, like the easiest shoot ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Love is love. We could only hate Scott. No hate. It should say no hate. Except on the Scott. bottom in parentheses. Like Except the Scott. warning. Nice. Hospital full of kids. They good. cannot wait. To well, see not you. good, but They're I'm so excited, excited to be here. I know. Wow. Oh, She's ready. Hi. Hi, I'm Chloe. I know you. You do? What's your name? CR. Do you know which one? Uh, this big one. This big one? That's my boy. It's wonderful to meet you. Oh, nice meeting you too. <laughs> Thank you. Who is this? Is it Amir? Hi, Amir. Yes. Oh, this is so cute. My <laughs> nephew has these. You want that? That's for you. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Thank you, princess. This is you look like I might have a surprise for you. Yay. Thank you. I heard you picked out this, this bear. Do you know how soft it is? It is the softest bear ever. I'm gonna name it Mr. Bigum. Mr. Bigum? I have a Henry, I have a giraffe at home named Henry. I'm proud of you. <laughs> well, I'm proud of you. I love you. I love you more. Hi, Chloe. Nice to meet you. You're so much pretty in person. Thank you. So I want you to tell me about yourself and why you are here today. Well, I'm here today because I want to get revenge on my bitch-ass boyfriend, Jose. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> so why is he a bitch-ass boyfriend? I was always there for him mm -hmm. when he needed me in the hospital. I mean, why? What was he in the hospital for? He had leukemia. Oh, OK. So I was with him during the whole leukemia thing, and he, he doesn't even care about me. He just wanted me around, like, as a friend, and I don't want a friend. You want something more. Yeah. Right? And I feel like the only reason why he's friend-zoning me is because he's not even attracted to me anymore. So you just want to lose weight just to get your ex-boyfriend back? <laughs> yeah, I want to get revenge on him and show him that, yo, under all this fat body, like, there's something good inside. But it's not just about a hot body. Like, that's really the misconception of this show, and that's not what I believe in. My show is about mind, body, and soul, and really changing people from within and realizing that there's so much more to life than just an exterior. Yeah. And right now, I feel like your priorities are a little messed up because your sole purpose is to have like an exterior. I mean, that's not the message that I'm trying to convey. Like I put up this mask because I don't want to show people that I'm like really hurting inside. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, But what are you hurting from? Like throughout my whole life, like I've always been put down and like I just don't have that self-confidence like to even come out to my own mother. Like my mom doesn't even know I'm gay. Are you close with your mom? I'm really close to my mom. I'm sure your mom probably already knows that you're gay. Yeah. And you just... I mean, she saw my makeup. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure she knows. Yeah. There's um, almost positive your mom knows you're gay. Yeah. But you both are probably just trying to avoid maybe an uncomfortable conversation. Yeah. I feel like you're not even owning who you really are yet. And I think you're not taking your own self seriously. I want more depth. I don't want everything to be so surface. 
And you're right. I feel like... And we don't have to fake cry just because I said that. The no. tear was perfectly acting. <laughs> but... No, it was really actually... I just want to this to be real. That's what I want. One of my best friends, Joyce Cranes, has a son named Todd. And for about the last six months, I've been getting the strangest phone calls. Hello? Auntie Chris, it's me. It's Todd Cranes. Where are you? And I call her and say that I'm a guy named Todd Cranes. Todd Cranes. Which is one of their oldest family friends. <laughs> what do you think it is? It's me, Todd Cranes. Stop calling this number. Where are you? <laughs> So some creep keeps calling me going, hi, this is Dad Cranes. It's not funny when someone's sending you flowers. I mean, the flowers are beautiful. Those are gorgeous. But somebody is obsessed oh enough. Oh my goodness. No, it's a little creepy. Kinda hot that you have a stalker, though. Keeping up con los Kardashians. You know, Joyce made me a steak and marinated it in ketchup. Joyce Cranes? What restaurant is your mom at? Let's get her on the phone. My mother and her aunt are eating at the restaurant. Can I just speak to my aunt, Kris Jenner? They're at the same table. Hello? Auntie Kris! Hello? It's me, Todd Kris! Okay. Hi. Hi. What's going on? How's dinner? How's dinner for you? I just eat placenta. Good. You know what? I had dinner with Auntie Joyce last night, and then Todd called me after. What? Wait, wait so what flower is Todd who? Cranes. What's the purpose of some creep calling, hi, Auntie Chris, it's Todd Cranes? I have no idea. Except I'm a creep, and I need to talk to you. Keeping up con los Kardashians. I think this is becoming a bigger problem for Scott. Andy Chris! I mean, I think you need to deal with these things. It's me. It's Todd Crane. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. Kind of hot the other stalker. Hopefully he could feel better once he admits it. Even if you are awkward and uncomfortable. Todd Crane. I just see placenta. Who was on the phone? The gate, it was Todd Cranes. I'm not making it up, Bible. Todd Cranes. They just said Todd what? Cranes is at the gate, and you said, okay, what if it's the fake Todd Cranes? What if it's the fake Todd Cranes? I'll answer so exciting. it. Hello? It's me, it's Todd Cranes. Hello? 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 Life is too short to hold a grudge and to hang on to things that I'll never be able to change. Okay, the Kardashians might not be this over the top, but we're sure the new season will be epic.